right, let's take a look at the Wizards for the first time this season. Uh, down 19 at one point in this game against the Pelicans. Pelicans, obviously, not a very good team, but every win in the NBA is a good win, especially when you're without your best player, Bradley Beal. And this this was a resilient win. I'll give them that. Uh, a gritty, one of those grinded-out games that you just have to find a way, uh, and they did. And it's amazing what having a, a competent head coach, what kind of difference uh, that makes Wes Unsell Jr. doing a phenomenal job. But anyway, let's start our story. Wizards down 6, 640 to go in the fourth quarter, and we'll just kind of go through what we see and give you some observations about the new look, first place Washington Wizards. So this whole play basically didn't work. I mean, I'm not going to say didn't work, but, you know, what they were trying to get on this double side ball screen for Kuzma was guarded pretty well. So they didn't get anything out of this, and they end up, you know, just – kind of getting stuck, late shot clock, Kuzma sets a random one, slips out of it, and that's that's just a tough-ass shot. I mean, that's a quick release, corner three off like a little slip, fading to the corner. I mean, that's a high-degree difficulty, pretty well-contested two shot, and that's his first made three of the game. So huge shot from Kyle Kuzma. Obviously, we know he's a streaky shooter, but mostly pretty darn good uh, for the Wizards this season. Kick ball here on the pocket pass. So Wizards down three, 6.17 to go. Denny Avdia, okay, taking the challenge, guarding the Pelicans' best scorer, Brandon Ingram. And he did a really nice job overall. Gets called for the questionable foul there. There's a few questionable calls uh, against him late. But I guess you could say ball don't lie as Ingram misses the, well, <laughs> did miss the first free throw, but the refs were feeling petty, so they called a lane violation on the first free throw. A little ridiculous, but anyway, ended up making both then. Uh, so Wizards run a stagger away for Kuzma. Doesn't have the shot coming right off. Gaffer goes back to rescreen. Brandon Ingram playing pretty good defense, blows it up relatively well, but great job by Kuzma just to get downhill. You know, we uh, misses at the rim oftentimes we know create rebounding opportunities like this. So even though he misses it, I mean, this is a good offensive possession. Uh, for Kyle Kuzma, great job getting again all the way downhill, all the way to the rim. Forces Valanciunas to come over trying to block it. Ingram also goes for the block from behind. And now Daniel Gafford's wide open to get the putback slam. So, you know, you don't get an assist. You don't get anything good in the stat book for that if you're Kyle Kuzma. But it's a good positive play uh, for him. Here, Wizards mismatched in transition. Daniel Gafford has to take the ball and Graham. No time to get him kicked out of there. Kuzma has to guard Valanchunas then on the mismatch. Pelicans should have got him the ball, honestly, on this play. I think Valanchunas against Kuzma is a much bigger mismatch than, you know, Graham trying to go against Daniel Gafford. Uh, obviously, hindsight's 20-20, but I think, you know, Valanchunas would kind of break Kuzma in half on a post-up. But anyway, they don't give it to him. So Graham, late clock, is going to drive Gafford. Get pretty good penetration, and I was watching this live thinking, Kuzma, you know, you got to come over here. you got to come over and try to block this shot. But you know what? He might have actually made a really good read here. I mean, Graham should have made this, quite frankly. But he blew it, and Kuzma, you know, stayed home. Kind of the opposite of the last play we just saw, Valanciunas going to block the shot. Kuzma doesn't go to block the shot, and it lets him get a really good block out against Valanciunas, which leads to that push-off call on Valanciunas. So great job holding the block out there by Kyle Kuzma, despite, you know, maybe it being better off to help at the rim. That time looks like he made the right read as Graham, again, misses a relatively easy look, but huge block out there from Kyle Kuzma. Again, another thing that doesn't show up in the stat sheet, but is a positive uh, winning play. And so, so far this year, the Wizards have got a motivated, locked-in Kyle Kuzma on both ends of the court. And that guy is a good player. So he hasn't always been that guy, hasn't always been that locked in for the Lakers, but this season seems like he gets it. ATO, Wes Unsell Jr., what do you got to draw up after the timeout play? Looks like it's going to be a pin down for Kuzma. Instead, he's going to back cut it. They kind of disguise, looking like it's going to be a Spain pick and roll, and instead Kuzma's going to, again, just sort of slip out of it and come off this little corner pinch from Avdia as Gafford then goes to pin down KCP, keep the weak side occupied. Good action, a lot of movement. Good job by Neto, looking it off a little bit, and then finding Kuzma. And it's not, you know, he doesn't get the most separation in the world, but this is, again, what he does. He's able to just hit tough, kind of decently contested shots, tough threes off the move, big time, second three of the game for him. He showed up again when it really mattered. So tie game now, 5.15 to go, feeling good about himself. 
All right, what do the Pelicans have? You see Abdi again, despite you know bouncing like a pinball off of Daniel Gafford, ends up fighting through the screens, getting a great contest on Brandon Ingram. Again, says a lot that the Wizards you know pick him as their best matchup defensive player. That was a bad shot for Kyle Kuzma. Tried the running hook, didn't have much of a chance there. But again, you know I care honestly. <laughs> people don't look nearly enough at who's guarding who, who, who's the chosen matchup for who. And again, the fact that they think, you know, even more than KCP, that Alvia's got a better chance of stopping Ingram than KCP, I mean, that's that's pretty high praise. Here he does a good job doing what he's supposed to do, which is ice this pick and roll, okay, and then it looks like this was their scheme. So on the ice, now Gafford's going to switch on to Ingram, and Avdia's job then is to try to block out Valanciunas, which he does reasonably well, and they call, again, a ticky-tack, uh, minor, minor little push. Kind of ridiculous call, and yeah, not much contact there, but anyway, uh, play through it. So again, you see him doing a good job fighting through screening action, staying pretty close to Brandon Ingram, putting his hands behind his back there, making sure you don't get called for any ticky-tack stuff now. Great job moving his feet. Great job not fouling when Ingram goes for his shot fakes. Knowing the scout, knowing that Brandon Ingram loves these little up fakes around the basket. Good contest. And you see he's going to throw up an X there, defensive stopper. Keep that in mind because we'll come back to it. He's loving his X tonight. 92 all, 418. So I'm going to throw it to him early. Gives it back to Kuzma. He's going to play with it a little bit. Find Dinwiddie. Now we're just spacing the floor. Dinwiddie. A little back down, turn around, pretty decent look for him. Just left that one a little short. Now, again, good defense from the Wizards. Good job by Dinwiddie also. Blowing up this handoff for Josh Hart. Great denial there. Good late switch, and Gafford's so good at this. I mean, he's guards that try to finish around him at the rim are just not smart, quite frankly, because... He's switching late on pick and rolls, and if you try one of these little scoop shots or whatever, uh, no, you don't have a chance of getting that off against him. Great pass ahead by Dinwiddie. Great run by Denny Avdia. Again, just makes winning plays. I mean, you got to like, again, the, just the motor he plays with right here. Just running right past Brandon Ingram, quite frankly. I mean, this is embarrassing for Ingram. But he's ahead of Avdia, and Avdia just kind of wants it more, just muscles him a little bit and runs right past him. And then Woody, good job to see that and even call it out a little bit. And then that's also a tough finish. I mean, it looks pretty easy, but this is because, I mean, Denny Avdia, when he jumped this far out, he's not going to be able to dunk this ball jumping from that far. Maybe should have taken off a little bit later, but to catch it on the run like that, you know, he, he doesn't dribble, right? He just decides to go up right away. And so he can't get all the way to the rim to dunk this, so he's got to find a creative way to finish it. So... Nice finger roll. I mean, good finish. Underrated. Not as easy as it looks, honestly, to finish a, a play like that going full speed uh, in transition. 94-92, 3.30 to go. Again, muscling up Ingram, making him work for every catch, denying him here, trying to get it. Good denial. Look how much time came off the clock. They're not even into their play until five seconds on the shot clock. Really good defense. Maybe could have kept pursuing into a challenge here at the end. But again, that physicality with Ingram bothered him. Wizards relax a little bit. This possession wasn't great up to this point. Uh, gave him a bunch of second chances, but that's a big-time rebound from Denny Avdia. So you can tell the Wizards kind of look gassed. Nobody went after a few rebounds, but Avdia here, this is go get that shit. Great rebound. Good job by Wes Unseld. Calling timeout, realizing his team you know, could use a breather with 3.05 left, 94 92 and so we pick up after timeout play once again let's see what they got this one trying to give a handoff to kuzma while pinching the weak side try to get him a driving lane almost had it but couldn't quite get enough space there all right no problem so now we're just going to play step up pick and roll dinwiddie likes this nash dribble along the baseline this time Somebody probably should have cut. He got stuck there. Ends up having to throw up another uh, late clock shot. Great anticipation by KCP, though, seeing this outlet pass. Seeing a chance for it. Big time steal. Puts the ball behind his back and oh, almost loses it. But huge uh, 
for him to keep that one alive, and Harrell ends up getting fouled. And you see his energy. His energy's back this season. This is the guy that he was a couple years ago and hasn't really been for the last couple of years, but he's uh, he's found his motivation again uh, with the Wizards. So uh, I'll be honest, I'll eat some crow because I you know, was not a fan uh, of the Russ trade. I called it kind of the Lakers poo-poo platter, and that's what it was to the Lakers last season. But, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And, you know, they got a couple guys that uh, Kuzma was couldn't really find his role. Harrell, you know, was kind of disgruntled and just not super locked in. You know, KCP was always solid. But, yeah, it just seems like they, you know, they got guys now that are in the right mindset and Wes Unseld's getting the most out of them. And, uh, you know, they're in a really good place. I mean, Trez is a guy, when he was sixth man of the year, I was calling him. Max Trez, you know, that he, he's a max, <laughs> he was a max type player when he was playing at all out manic energy. I mean, look at this defensive possession, first of all. Look at how far fighting Valanciunas. I mean, this is not an easy guy to guard in the post, being physical as hell with him. And then watch how Trez is going to take the first little bump, and then second one just knows it's coming and takes that right in the chest. I mean, that's a big time charge against a big ass dude. Boom. Shh. That's a big take. That's that's not easy. And then again, let I me mean, just look at that energy. That that's awesome. You know, the crowd feeds off that. Other players feed off that. I don't know if he's saying I run this shit or I'm gonna, you know, order something good. A Chinatown post game. I'm not a good lip reader. Might have been that. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's bringing the energy this year. He's he's playing fiery as hell every single game. And that was that was missing again the last couple of years. But looks like he's back because now this guy's. Uh, in a good spot to get paid, uh, you know, after a really good season like this. So hopefully he keeps it up. Here, good job. Just continuity by the Wizards, okay? This this wasn't the play. You know, the play was just targeting uh, in a pick and roll. But when that breaks down, you know, when you don't really have something, Harrell, when he catches the ball up top, they just go right into this Chicago action, pin down kind of into a handoff, delay type action, Avdia. Just finds, again, a solution. Nice little runner. Not, not a shot that many guys in the NBA take, but, you know, when you're uh, a white Israeli, uh, you know, you gotta, you got to find different ways to score the ball. So big-time floater for him. He, uh, you know, he's a glue guy. He's, he's kind of just fitting into that role perfectly. And the Wizards, you know, they just kind of have everybody is, is playing their role. He's a big-time defender, another big-time defender glue guy. Obviously the scoring punch. Talked about Trez's energy. Dinwiddie's just solid as hell. I mean, everybody's doing their job. And obviously, Beal's a superstar uh, when he comes back to the team. So, good job by Avdia here to keep pursuing after that first screen. I mean, that's big time. You know, these are plays that I don't know if normal fans recognize. But this is a tough play to guard. It's the stack Spain action. Avdia, you know, is going to fight through this Valanciunas screen, keep pursuing. And so, by this time, he's already totally back to Ingram. So, this whole stack Spain play is blown up right here, Avdia just refused to be screened and now stuck with Ingram. And then when he sees Ingram trying to launch and draw one of those fouls that maybe last season would have been called, after the initial minor little contact, he puts his hand behind his back. So they're not giving you this call this year. He, he puts minimal contact after that first little touch. Ingram's not getting that call, and Avdia puts his hand behind his back. Smart, big rebound. Again, X. Look at that. He did the X again. <laughs> X-Man, defensive stopper. I love it. 98-92. Zero field goals in six minutes for the Pelicans. How about that? That's pretty good. Uh, matchup hunting here. They're going to get Graham on the switch. He's a little easier then to try to put in a pick and roll. And then, look at this. Just break down Pelicans. Makes sense what they're trying to do here. You know, we, we call this like a double switch. So what you do is Josh Hart is trying to switch onto Trez so that then he can switch this ball screen. So it's like a late clock action. You switch this, and then Valanciunas just has to take the corner. So now when Harrell comes up to set this, Josh Hart can switch onto the ball instead of Valanciunas. But just a little breakdown, Valanciunas doesn't see it quick enough. Josh Hart sees it, but he doesn't maybe communicate it soon enough. And now Valanciunas got a long sprint to the corner, and that's a huge shot from KCP. Again, he that's what he does. He knocks down corner threes, plays defense. Look at Wes Unseld on the sideline. He's pumped up. That's cool. Nine-point lead. Huge. Clinching-type shot uh, for KCP. But Pelicans, to their credit, I mean, they, they hung around, even despite this. 
So after this, let's see, out of the timeout, this one, Avdia got caught chasing over the top of that screen. Good play designed by Willie Green. Get an easy two out of the timeout. I didn't love this pass. Uh, a little dangerous to KCP, but ended up working out okay. Except he ends up getting called for a tech because uh, he accidentally hit Graham in the face. I didn't think that was a tech. I thought it was like a flagrant. I, I don't know. I, some of the rules now just confuse me. But anyway, uh, I think he got fouled and Graham, uh, you know, got the technical call done. KCP for taking that shot in the mouth. So Ingram knocks down the free throw. Graham goes to get some mouthwash. Uh, Six-point game, 110 to go. Dinwiddie's going to call Avdia up. Again, playing the matchup game. Get that switch. And now Harrell, that's who we want, put in the pick and roll. And that's just a huge shot from Spencer Dinwiddie. It's a tough shot, too. I mean, it's one of those that's not really your conventional shooting form. It's kind of like a half floater, half shot right around that free throw line area. you got to get it up high to get it above Valanchunas late. But it's a big time little push again <laughs> in between both. He just has a lot of solutions. He's crafty. He knows how to play the game. Eight point lead, 56 seconds. Good defense by KCP. Good denial by Avdia. Ingram ends up catching on the post. Okay, good job there to not foul at the end. Two was maybe a little too easy, but good job again. Not making it worse, knowing the situation. Can't give up a three-point play. A lot of guys screw that up in a situation like that and end up making it a game when it shouldn't be. So still a game here, six-point game. Enough time for the Pelicans. Dinwiddie, another great read up in the air. Great extra, extra pass. Ugh. Kuzma just can't knock that one down. But again, when you get good shots, when you run good offense, good things have a tendency just to work out. So first screen, they get the switch. Ends up becoming like a pistol action. Dinwiddie rejects it, drives the baseline. Great extra pass. Man, the lid would have came off the place if you hadn't clanked that one. But good chase down rebound from Dinwiddie. And Josh Hart's like, come on, come trap. Somebody come trap. Trap. Nobody's going to listen to him. And that's what bad teams do. Uh, Pelicans just kind of clueless and... Don't seem to play with much passion or really give a shit, uh, which is unfortunate, but they're also just bad, and uh, obviously without Zion Williamson. So, seven-point game. Harrell was very mad at himself for missing a free throw, and then it got interesting, too, because Ingram makes a tough contested three there. Not much you could do uh, about that one, and now we've got Harrell uh, having a dribble. And Sorry, it might have been this one that Harrell... Uh, wasn't thrilled with himself about all these kind of blend together at some point, but yeah, missed the first and he was, oh, Tres, oh, man, mad at himself. And then he's like, okay, take take a deep breath. You're all right. We still love you. Um, Tres is talking up a storm to himself, but he's gonna compose himself enough to smooth on the second. Still not happy, but. He knocked it down. All right, relax. He made one. That's okay. Five-point game, 9.7 to go. Last time out for the Pelicans. So, yeah, makes sense. You got to go for a three here. Good play. Again, Ingram ends up getting a pretty good look. Great verticality by Dinwiddie, just showing his arms, going straight up. All you can do on a play like this. He's got elevation, so it's a good look for him. But once again, Denny Avdia. How about some rebounds in traffic? This guy's strong. He's muscular and goes up and gets them and then smart play pelicans were trying to extend it here even five seconds to foul him great job throwing it up ahead then witty dribble it out big win for the wizards 11 and 3 first place in the eastern conference uh we'll have more on them as the season goes on appreciate you guys watching thumb up subscribe scout with brian uh podcast instagram and youtube